Hi, my name is Elaine and in today's video I'm going to review Primark's new brand of gym makeup. So about two or three weeks ago I reviewed um, some Primark activewear. I'm actually wearing one of the tops now and I said that they also had this range of makeup which was designed for wearing in the gym. So I promised you back then that I would do, would buy some of the products, do a review video, so here it is. In Ireland, Primark is called Pennies and I will be saying Primark and Pennies interchangeably throughout this video, so that's what I'm talking about. But the brand is the PSPHR brand. And this is just one of the products and it is called Perform, Hydrate and Recover. And it says that it's designed to wear at the gym and it isn't just sweat, run and smudge proof, but it actually looks good on your skin post-workout too. So that's what they're marketing it as. They've got 11 products in the collection. So they have a powder concealer, BB cream highlighting stick, setting spray, lip and cheek stain, mascara, eyeliner, primer, and a lip balm. And then I also saw online blotting papers as well. I bought six out of the 11 products. Some of them, um, the ones that I didn't buy, for instance, was I didn't buy the lip balm because I bought a lip and a cheek stain and I just thought that I, I quite like products that you can use for dual purposes. I didn't buy an eyeliner because I don't tend to wear eyeliner. Um, I didn't buy the setting spray because I have loads of those and I did buy a, a powder which I thought would be better. Um, and the last one is I didn't buy the BB cream and that's because I couldn't find the BB cream. I tried a couple of different Primark stores and um, I also looked online to see what it looked like but I couldn't find it anywhere. So they're the products that I didn't buy and then the ones that I did buy I will go through in a minute. I think it's a really interesting idea to have gym makeup and I know a lot of people say don't wear makeup to the gym, like why are you wearing makeup to the gym, why do you care? But as someone who suffered from acne for a good couple of years, I know that I used to wear heavy makeup to the gym because I was quite embarrassed about my acne. And I'm pretty sure that the makeup I was using wasn't very good for my skin. So I think it's really great that ranges do come out for people who maybe are more self-conscious. Or even like if you're going to classes and there's someone that you like at the class and you're just trying to make yourself feel or look a bit better, or you're having a bad day or like that, you just, want to look your best so you can take like your best gym selfie or whatever you want to do in the gym um, I just think it's fine wear gym makeup if you want one thing for me is that if I'm going to wear anything on my skin in the gym things that I wanted to do is I wanted to keep my skin hydrated I wanted to not fall down my face so like the mascara doesn't run or you know for the product or anything to get into my eyes and I just wanted to make me look like me but probably a little bit fresher so I'll go through the products that I got and then we can try them on and see how they go so the first product was the one I showed you a minute ago. So it's this one, which is, um, it's called a cooling recovery primer. So this one was four euro, quite cheap. It says on the back of the bottle that it's, it says it's a cooling recovery gel. So I'm kind of confused as to whether you're meant to try it before your workout or whether it's a, a kind of thing that when you've done your workout, you put it on your face. But I do know, like I this morning, all I did was wash my face before I did this and I put on a regular moisturizer. And you can kind of see that my skin does get pinkness and redness and it gets, my skin can get quite hot. Um, which is why like foundation sometimes oxi oxidizes on my skin, a couple of different things. And even if you look like my skin tone, my face is sometimes redder. Um, then the rest of my skin tone. So I'm interested to see how this works. I'm going to use it before I go and do a workout and then when I come home later and I've showered and stuff I might just stick it on again because I don't actually plan on wearing makeup today so I might just put this on and see how it goes. Then the next product that I bought was the um, the sweat resistant face powder and this one is translucent so it's quite white it's just a regular face powder like that I have actually used it a couple of days recently and I don't I over makeup like I don't taste it it's quite white in the color so I wonder if is it a bit ashy colored and it might not suit all skin tones but that's probably why they do have colored powders as well if that's what you want to use and this one was um, this was three euros fifty, which I think is really good for a powder. Then the next thing that I got is the highlighting stick, and this actually comes in. It comes in quite a cool package. So yeah, like you lift the top off, and the package is in here. And I actually think that these are pretty decent. You could use them for different things if you wanted to. But also, it would mean then maybe that the bottle wouldn't get grimy in your bag. And this one was five euro, and it's it's a hydrating highlighter stick. It's a kind of like 
you can see the color there. I think it's a really good color because I think it would suit most skin tones. I'd maybe if you have pink skin, I'm not really sure, but I think for me, this is perfect. I sometimes find that highlighters are too shimmery, but with this one as well, I tested it on my hand last night. I was really impressed with how you could blend it in. So you'll see it on my skin, but I don't know if you can see it there. So it's just got a nice shimmer and I just think that it'd be nice you know, to put cheekbones and bit of your nose here maybe just to brighten up and maybe just up on the arches of your brows. Um, this one is the Hydrating uh, Lip and Cheek Tint. So this one again is five euro and it comes in a similar package like that. This is quite a nice color. Um, this one also, I think this is the one that smells really good. It smells kind of fruity and it's a similar smell to the hydrating primer but I think that's a really really nice color and it would should suit most people. The last two products then that I got, I got a waterproof mascara which comes in this quite cool tube and I think it sort of reminds me of like an eye cream tube but it's just a standard black waterproof mascara. I'll show you the wand there. Just very normal mascara and that was two euros fifty and then the last product then was because I said I couldn't find the BB cream I often find that actually when I want to do a no makeup look I tend to put on a primer I put maybe some highlighter in around certain areas or I put on maybe a primer with like a green tint to pull down my redness I put on some mascara a bit of brow gel and some lip stuff and that's all and that's sort of my no makeup makeup so the fact that they do a concealer is great so I'll be able to achieve that look and the one that I got was porcelain and again it's in one of these this is this is the one that I was kind of like, why are you bothering with this? So it's in this like tube, and it's a um, it's a stick one here. So, and this was it was three euro. The only product that I think that the range should have that doesn't is I think it should have a brow gel or a brow mascara, um, because I just think that it's the one thing that. It, people notice quite a lot or that people are worried about or there's a lot of emphasis on people's brows and I think like when you are in the gym you know you're sweating and you're probably brushing stuff off your face and just a nice uh, solid clear brow gel would be really good just to keep your brows in place and to kind of complete your look so um, because I don't have that I'm just going to use a clear brow mascara that I have just to finish the look for myself but again that won't be part of the review. So now I want to put these products to the test so I always like to do things in my own scientific way and the way that I'm going to do this test is I'm going to put on all the products then I'm going to go over to the gym and I'm going to do a sort of a mixture of HIIT cardio weights workout and then I'll come back here and I'll record sort of how I got on, how my makeup looks and then I'm going to put the waterproof mascara to the test so I think that I'll either splash water on my face or I'll just jump in the shower just to really give it a good going um, and just see how the makeup withstands that. So. Uh, let's get the makeup on. So the first product that I'm going to try will be the Cooling Recovery Primer. It comes out as a kind of a green colour and I don't know if it has any colour correcting properties but um, I'll try it now and see. Oh that smells amazing. Yeah it smells the same as the, um, the lip and the cheek tint and I had a look at the back and the ingredients I think there's like aloe leaf juice in it which should be good for cooling there's sweet almond oil there's jojoba seed oil and then there's lots of other ingredients but i think that that might be the um the reason for the really nice scent on it so in terms of it feeling like a primer it because it says it's a primer on the start on the front but it actually says it's a gel on the back i don't really see it being a primer like so far my skin has gone quite red from it but that's just from rubbing my skin it kind of is like tacky I definitely think that the scent is really nice and a lot of makeups and stuff have a kind of a chemical-y scent. So I'm just putting this everywhere. I'm not going to put it right up into my eyes because I don't know how it will go. I feel sort of like tacky a bit. And imagine if there was, if you could find the BB cream, that it would probably sit down onto it. But I'm just going to leave it for um, about a minute now and I'll see what my skin looks like in a sec. Okay, so this has been on for about a minute. I think it's actually pulled the redness down. I'll try and just stick an image just here to show you what it looked like a few minutes ago. Um, it's hard enough to tell, but like my skin feels nice and 
I think it looks a little bit brighter, a little bit less red. Um, next I'm gonna go on to the concealer. And um, with the concealer, I'm just gonna, as I said, focus in around my eyes and stuff. My eyes get quite red, especially I left a little bit of mascara on last night, so I was trying to scrub that off this morning so that this would be accurate. And I'm just using um, a damp sponge just to apply this. So um, I'll stick a tiny bit on a couple of bits of my spots. Um, but mainly just in around my eyes. What I'll actually do is I'll do this side with the sponge and I'll do the other side of my fingers just to see can it be used with your fingers. Because I think I read somewhere that if you're putting um, concealer on with your fingers that it, the warmth of the, like if you're trying to cover a spot that the warmth of your finger can sometimes pull the concealer back off. I think it definitely blends better um, with the sponge. If you look at that there, like it's definitely taking the redness down there. I think it's just made my skin look a little bit fresher, a bit brighter. I might put the tiniest little bit more, just my nose gets, um, can get a little bit red, so just to pull down the redness. Uh, next, I will go for um, I'm just going to use my, as I said, I, they don't do a brow mascara, but I'm just going to use my own brow mascara. Cool. And then the next thing I will do is I'm going to go for a little bit of the cheek and lip stain. I don't tend to wear blusher, so this is going to be weird. I just think that because I kind of get redness quite a lot, I just feel like it doesn't suit me, but... Yeah, what I'll say, that's fine. Like, I don't, I don't like wearing blusher, so I kind of, part of me is like, why did I buy that? Why didn't I just buy a, a proper lip stain? Um, it says it's hydrating, so I'll see how hydrating it actually is on my lips, and I can bring it with me to touch it up. And in fairness, it does feel quite like hydrating down on my lips. I just wanted to try that particular product because it was a dual purpose product, and I thought that it might, and um, for people who do like to put a bit of blusher on, I just don't, so kind of I don't really know why I bought it. I think though, maybe if I bought the actual um, lip balm, it just, I wouldn't have to pull up my lips as much to get it on. But it's quite nice, I think it's nice. I'm gonna use a bit of highlighter, so it says the color is glow. So I'm just gonna pop a tiny bit here, Let's see how bright it goes. That's quite nice. And I'm just gonna blend it in with my fingers. I often find that these sort of like stick type things, I don't know if they work on me. Is it shimmer? Yeah, it kind of does. I kind of put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> but look, it's quite hard to, I think it'd be better if you used, put it onto your fingers, because then you can actually get it in the spot that you want. So I'll put a tiny bit here, tiniest bit on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna spit up my nose and just up here. And then where they were suggesting as well was that you just jump the tiniest bit on your brow bone just to lift your eyes. Like I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's a light in here, but I don't know if that's done anything. And then finally, mascara. Okay, what I'd say about the mascara is, so my application isn't amazing at the moment. Um, I am doing a makeup course, so I should be better at it. But because the wand is quite, like it definitely makes my eyes look brighter, but because the wand is, it's this kind of a shape, it's quite thick. And I feel like that the consistency of the mascara, I'm used to a much waterier mascara, and it's just, it was really hard to get and the mascara out onto it. So I ended up with like loads on my lid, which I'll clean up in a minute. But that for me, like I have hooded eyes, I get stuff down on my lids constantly when I'm doing mascara. And that was just kind of annoying for me. I think that there's better waterproof mascaras out there. Um, but I will test it just to make sure that it is durable. So I'll just get something to clean this up. Yes, that's a cleaned up a bit. Like it's grand. It's not the greatest mascara ever, I don't think. Yeah, and see, this was new, and it just, it feels like the mascara is very chunky or something in it. I'm just not loving this. I'd be interested to try the formulation with a different brush, but 
Big look. It's just a brush. It's a weird shape and I don't like it. And I think, oh actually as well, I think the black is a little bit dark for kind of when you're doing gym makeup. It might be nicer to have a brown mascara or something. Okay, so that's both, both eyes done. And I just think that it looks kind of messy and not great. And my, my lashes don't look very lengthened. Then the final product is just the powder. So I'm just gonna use like a Kabuki type brush. Like it doesn't change my skin type, my skin color too much. What it did though, and I didn't like, is that it actually has deadened the highlight a little bit. Um, so I probably, if I was doing this again, I'd literally just do my T-zone because that's the bit that I have most trouble with. Um, but yeah, that's it. So that's the look that I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna take this look with me and I'm gonna go to the gym now and see how I get on. And I will let you know in about an hour's time. Okay, so I've come straight home, straight in. I barely even have time to take my coat off. So I did, I filmed a little bit when I was in there and I have some footage of after. So what I did was, the exercise that I was doing is I'm, I'm following the Carly Rowena, she's a uh, YouTuber, and I'm following her exercise plan at the moment. And I'm just following it kind of, when I go to the gym, I do the next exercise that's on the list. I don't follow by weeks or anything. Some of them were weighted, some of them were body weight. And I did three sets of those, so I filmed after each set. So I'll insert all of those here in a second. And then at the very end then, we don't have a stepper in the gym, but I went and did a, um, it's kind of like a stepper, but I did that for 10 minutes and then I did lots of stretches and stuff. So I tried my best not to like do anything to my skin, like move like a, you know, dab it or anything. So I'm pretty gross right now. So after set one, the things that I noted straight away was that my lips, because my lips are quite dry, it has kind of gone cakey and that, because I was drinking water, that the um, highlighter at the top of my lips started to look a bit weird all along my forehead and, you know, the bits I put the powder had seemed completely fine. Then after the second set, again, the deterioration of my lips and actually where I noticed it as well is that I felt that the highlighter was starting to look a little bit cakey, but because like I'm not in studio lights, I don't have studio lights yet, I could have been cakey before I left, so I don't know. Um, but I noticed that, but again, like the sweat, it is sweat resistant and it seemed to keep my skin quite dry because like I'm quite sweaty and gross now. Um, and then after the third set again, it just, everything had deteriorated slightly, mainly the highlighter. And what I did notice is the highlighter is really like, strong. Um, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna try and show you here. So it seems like this dot, like that's highlighter that I just put on as a tester that was left and it's really hard to get it off. But anyway, so the things that I'm noticing is that in the studio lights, I thought that the highlighter didn't look great, but actually, if I'm honest here, it's not that bad. Um, the mascara held up, but I just think it's crap. You can see though, it's kind of um, gone kind of mucky under my eyes. Um, you know, it's like, and that was partly from when I applied it. I suppose it gives you like, it makes my eyes pop a bit because it's quite dark and it gives you kind of like a smoky look, but I feel like it just looks like, I didn't bother putting the mascara on properly. And then, you know, all the other bits, like the powder I'm really impressed with. Like I'm shiny enough in this light, but it doesn't feel shiny. It feels, yeah, it feels good. It just feels like my face is fresh. Although, can you see, you know, you can probably see on my lips there. It's kind of just broken around my lips. Um, and my lips feel a bit dry, so I don't think that held up too well. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump in the shower. I'm gonna leave all this makeup on when I'm in the shower and I'm just gonna see how well it withstands water. Um, it's not meant to withstand water, but I just decided to put it to the ultimate test to see. So um, I'll see you after my shower. Okay, so I'm back. I've showered with my makeup on. And um, this actually feels disgusting on my face because like I wanna be able to moisturize it because what's wrong is is that I, I didn't, um, like I washed all my hair and then I allowed the water or like to run across my face for about 30 seconds or so. I didn't scrub it or anything, but my face feels tight as if it's been in water, but I can't put moisturizer over it because there's makeup on it. Um, in terms of the mascara, um, it's got all this flaky crap around it. See all that? Excuse my stained towel. It's, uh, hair dye probably. Like it's really flaked down here and here. Like the mascara itself, um, 
the mascara itself like hasn't come off on my hand but what has happened is that there's all these it's kind of started to flake and that's what the problem is there's all these like, it's kind of gone powdery which i said that when i was actually applying it that i felt like it was really powdery and it was a crappy formula so I don't think that's like it's it's still there but i just don't think it looks very good and i just would worry that all the little particles and stuff would get into your eyes in terms of the rest of it though like it was only powder and stuff up here so i kind of don't feel like there's anything left there i just feel like it ran off the um you kind of can't see it in this light but the highlighter has gone all cakey yeah so the makeup itself won't withstand water that's fine and the mascara i just think as a waterproof mascara isn't great uh stay tuned because i have my thoughts on these products and which of them you should buy and which of them you should just forget about okay so now it is time for my final thoughts in terms of the products that i really liked i really like this the primer i actually have it on today with the tiniest bit of um concealer so this i really like i really like the smell of it i thought it was really good and i thought it suited my, suited my skin really well i'm going to use it for a couple of days if i have any issues with it i will like look out in the down bar because i will add any sort of updates if there's any uh, skin issues with this but i just thought it was really nice i don't really think it's massively a primer but it definitely helped with redness the next product i think this is fine it's perfect it's a powder i think it was really good at being sweat resistant and i felt that during the workout that my t-zone where i had put a lot of it and even on my cheeks and stuff like it wasn't shiny whatsoever i just always worry when things are translucent that they kind of change the color of the makeup that you've put on but um i really liked this and I think that this would be great if you were doing maybe if you you know did workouts uh, at your lunch break and you just hopped in the shower afterwards cleaned your face you could kind of use all of these products just to put a look on your face going back to work I'm gonna keep using this though for a couple more days and see how it is it seems like just a fairly standard powder and it was quite cheap it was 350 so I think it is worth trying and it's definitely sweat resistant this highlighter is fine I don't think it suits my skin tone it's a shame because it's like it's quite a big bottle but I just find myself that these sort of highlighting sticks aren't great on my skin I'd be interested to try it just on its own without you know any concealer or anything like that I think it's grand I think there are probably better highlighters like a liquid highlighter or cream highlighter might be better this I really liked I'm using it today on my lips and it is quite hydrate hydrating as I said you know my my lips started to crack and it started to peel off my lips a little bit um when I was doing the workout but to be honest I don't wear any sort of lip product besides the balm on my, on my lips when I'm doing a workout anyway because you're like you're drinking water and you know you're sweating you're breathing out through your lips there's like sweat on the, your upper lip I wouldn't wear it but I think that this is something that I will keep and I will use and I think that for days like that when I just don't want to wear a huge amount of makeup I'll probably put this on as a cheek stain or a cheek tint doesn't suit me because I don't really like wearing blusher and I think that for me powder blusher is better or none at all this mascara is terrible I would not recommend buying it it had a chalky texture I don't know why that is because it was brand new when I bought it I had to take the plastic off it but the brush isn't very nice the consistency is not very nice it doesn't really look nice in your eyes don't bother get a different waterproof mascara and then this concealer again three euro what I say about it is it's fine. I'm, I'm wearing it again today here under my eyes. So I'm going to see how well it lasts throughout the day because I only had it on for probably two or three hours maybe in total. So I'm going to see how this goes. I prefer a creamy concealer rather than sort of like a stick type thing like this. Uh, but the color was good. It seemed to have decent enough coverage. I just don't know about its staying power yet. But again, look out in the down bar for that. Um, but yeah, so that's my review. Obviously my skin is going to be different to yours. I would have slightly combination skin. So in the winter time, I get a lot drier patches. I get dry patches here and my skin feels a lot, feels a lot tighter. But in general, I would have oily skin, prone to spots. Um, I get shiny quite easily. My face gets hot quite easily. So makeup sometimes slides off my face or it oxidizes. So that's the type of skin type that I have. Some of these products, if you had a different skin type, may work for you. But in general, I think it's a really good product. It's a really good product range. And of the ones that I loved, I will keep using. And uh, that's it for my review for this week's video. 
if you liked this video and if you'd like to see more videos like this or there's other products you'd like me to review please give this video a big thumbs up you can also follow me on all my social media links which i'll stick down here please subscribe to my channel these are this is the type of content that i do stuff to do with fashion beauty makeup i've started a makeup course so i should have more makeup and skincare related videos coming over the next while thanks for watching and i'll see you all next sunday